What's going on guys? Uh, so in today's tutorials I'm going to be showing you how to create uh, the flash effect um, that I was talking to you all about. So the first thing we're going to be doing is importing our footage. So go ahead and double click. As you see here I have all my files already in here. Uh, under files used I have sound effects, uh, regular effects, and uh, my video files. So let me just go ahead and uh, create new folder and I'm going to just put video files and put all these video files in here so I can have it a little bit more organized. And I'm going to go back here, select files used and put import folder. That way it imports everything at once. And while it's doing that, um, uh, we're going to go ahead and create a new composition. So inside here you'll see that you have all three folders already. So we'll right click create a new composition. Make sure it's HDTV 1080p uh, 29.97 and then your duration can be 30 seconds. We'll just name this one Flash Escape and click OK. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and bring in our video clips and we're going to be working with that. Uh, the video clip we'll be working with, or at least I will, you can choose whichever one you want, is going to be this one right here. Uh, so as you can see here, we have a video file of him kind of doing the little pose and then walking away from screen. Um, I'm actually going to remove the audio from right here. And then I'm going to come over here to where he is away from screen. And I'm going to go ahead and press Control Shift D, and that splits this into two. I'm going to go ahead and rename this one into Background, and this one as Person, and then just put Background on underneath. Right click on it, go to Time, Freeze Frame, and what that's going to do, it's going to freeze the frame so that if I can make this as long as I want, and I still have a background, right? Which is what I want. Go ahead and put that there. So now I have him here and he walks out of screen and you see that. Well I only need him up to where he makes the pose right around there. So I'm gonna actually cut this right there. Right there's good. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is duplicate this one. And I'm going to right click, time, freeze frame. And then I'm just going to extend this this way and chop it right there. So now it pretty much does this and it freezes at that given moment. So what I'm going to do with this freeze frame is I'm going to actually cut him out using the pen tool. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. And so here, since we're not actually uh, animating this, you can just do it as best as you can. doesn't have to necessarily be perfect, but the better you do it, the better the results. Right there. So now that we have them cut out, it may seem like we have achieved nothing, but if you actually hide your background and your person right here, you'll see that we have cut him out of the frame, which is exactly what we want. So when we put this one back and this one here, we now have like, whoosh, and then that happens, right? So which is exactly what we want. Now there is a little slight difference in color uh, when it jumps, but because of the actual flash that happens, you won't be able to actually tell so much, and we are going to do some minor modifications to that as well to try to fix it. Okay, so the next step from here is going to be to import our effects. So from here we have a couple of effects, and to find the right one, got to double click, let's see, yep, this one right here, this last one. Go ahead and bring it up here. And this one's pretty much just going to be so that I kind of know where to uh, create the uh, 
the effect. So from here, as you go this way, you'll see that this kind of comes out. So this layer right here, person or person two, we're actually going to go over here to toggle switches and we're going to turn it into a 3D layer and then press P for position. And we're actually going to add a keyframe right there. And we are going to move it right to where this thing actually touches the, the edge of the screen. And we're going to move him in this direction. And then we're going to actually make him a lot bigger. So pretty much what you want to see is that he is getting bigger and kind of moving along with the effect, right? Just like so. So what we're going to do next to this particular layer is go ahead and just chop it down. We don't need it to be that long. And we're going to add a motion blur and a motion blur here. So already we kind of have this. Just like so, which is kind of cool. Although it looks like he's moving a little bit faster than the actual effect. So let's go ahead and tweak that up a little bit. So he's already moving here, but the effect is not yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Chop it right here. There we go. That looks a little bit better. That looks pretty good. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to move him here just a little more. Yeah. All right. So that looks pretty good. Now from here, right as he's starting to do this position, we actually want to create uh, an effect with one of these right here. I'm not sure which one it is. Uh, this one right here. So this one's going to be the effect of him kind of like prepping up for that that uh, static shock or whatever. So from here we're actually going to just tweak this to where it kind of just lands somewhere in his body. Now because he's actually moving at this given point right around here, we're going to actually need to track him a little bit. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put this in here so that it looks like it's happening all over him. Perfect. So from here, I'm just gonna move this this way. And so notice from here, he's gonna kinda lean forward. So we wanted to kinda start somewhere around here and then he does that so right around here we're actually going to go ahead and press T for opacity and then bring it over one frame and bring it down to zero because we no longer need that this guy we're just going to cut him a little short There we go. And then last, we're going to add one more um, that I don't actually have here, but it's going to be a little spark. You guys will see it. Uh, you're going to add a little spark right to that effect. And so this is pretty much how you do this one right here. Uh, the only thing we want to do is kind of tweak this uh, background a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and search up exposure color correction, bring it down here. And we're just going to pick up the exposure of this ever so slightly so that you can't really tell that much that it's changing colors. 
And so there we go. So that's the effect. Now we need to go ahead and add our sound effects. And so with our sound effects, we have at the very bottom, the song. Oh, I forgot. So this one actually has like multiple effects, sorry, multiple effects within one. So what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is um, just listen to find the correct one. So, I mean, I think the first one will work pretty good right there. So I can go ahead and put control shift D, delete everything from here. The effect starts around here. So control shift D, oops, control shift D and delete everything from here. And then right around there, just add this at the given moment where the effect's actually going to happen. Just like so. And then last but not least, at the sound of the song at the very end. There you go. And so we have that cool sound effect and everything else going. And so from here you can pretty much just cut it um, and right click and trim to work area and you have your effect. And just for good measures, we're going to go ahead and add a four color, four color gradient to a new solid. So new solid, call it gradient, and then bring the four color gradient in here. We're going to go ahead and make, I don't know, you can choose whichever colors you feel work best, but somewhere with the oranges and some blue something like that and then we can go ahead and click toggle switches and switch this over to like overlay uh, or just play around with it and see which one looks kind of good um, add soft light and Maybe press T and lower the opacity a bit. There we go. So that looks kind of cool. And so now we have our effect. There you go. So that is how you make the first part of the flash, uh, flash effect. Now we're going to go ahead and work on our second one. So we're going to go ahead and right click new composition and put flash circle click OK and we're gonna bring in our video file of these guys here right here this one right here bring it in and so we have this right here they're just kind of chilling uh, then we have this video over here under video files sorry uh, under effects we're gonna bring this one in and we're also gonna bring this one in so one of the things you want to achieve here is for this one to be going over the front of them and for this one to be going over the back of them. But in order for it to look kind of realistic, we have to make sure that the one in the back actually looks like it's going through the back. So the way we'll do that is we'll grab our pen tool and we'll just make some very uh, slight adjustments around this area. Now it doesn't have to be perfect because they do move around. Uh, but we'll do that to another one over here. And then do another one right here. Hmm. Something went wrong. Try again in a few seconds. Uh, I apologize for that. My uh, Google Home tends to act up and be weird from time to time. Anyways, now that we have that, what we're going to go ahead and do is press M. And under our mask path, instead of add, we're going to click subtract to all of them. Then we're going to go ahead and close it and open it back up on each one. 
just so we can get to the feather and just feather it up by you know, a couple of pixels right here like 26 or 20 give or take right there so oops so now when you click out of here um, deselect that one you'll notice that it gets kind of chopped off in the back so it actually looks like it's going around there, right and so from here what we're going to do is we're actually going to remove the audio from here bring in our sound again oh sorry uh, sound effects bring the sound the song and then bring our sound effects and in our sound effects it's going to be something that sounds like an airplane right here it's right around there I'm going to press Control shift D delete everything on this side bring it over here and then just duplicate this footage so that I have multiples of them and then I can just go ahead and control shift D right here delete the rest of that press N and then right click trim to comp area and that is how you do it. Now for the first one the problem with I mean for the last third one the problem was that uh, the footage that we required uh, to use was actually not free and uh, you had to pay for and uh, so we were not going to be able to do that one uh, so it'll just be these two as soon as you're done just go ahead and save your files export both of the compositions and and submit to Schoology and that's it this is your last assignment hope you guys enjoyed your school year and I'll see you around guys next year peace out